Hey guys, I decided to pop my cell phone out really quick to make a quick video because my hair doesn't feel right to me today. It's been a four months since I did a protein treatment and over the years I've taught myself when is the right time to do a protein treatment. You might say that four months is a bit too long, but I know exactly when to use a protein treatment lately. Now, it took me over a year and eight months to know this trick that I'm about to teach you guys. So if you are interested in seeing that, keep on watching. Okay, you guys, so what I have been doing is allowing my hands to let me know when it's time for me to do a protein treatment. So as my hair is right now, is dry and it doesn't feel right. It feels mushy. So what I'm going to do is to further figure out if I need to do a protein treatment. Now, the best way to know if you need a protein treatment is when your hair is a bit damp. So I'm going to further detangle my hair. As you know, I always use my water bottle and I'm going to be spritzing that to further detangle my hair. Not only that, while I'm detangling, I'm going to know, my fingers are going to let me know if I need protein. So here we go. And you can do this at home as well if you guys so desire or need to know when is the best time to do a protein treatment. Okay, so now that my hair is wet, my hair feels more stretchier than usual. Okay, if I was to take just a strand and just try to stretch it, it will feel very, very stretchy. Don't know if you guys can see that, but because it feels so stretchy, I'm, be I'm beginning to know that I need some more protein treatment. Now, in the past, I would normally do a protein treatment every six weeks, but now I know when to use a protein treatment. So as I said in my intro, it's been four months since I did a protein treatment. And now that my hair is damp, I can feel that my hair feels very mushy. It, it feels very, very stretchy. Now when that happens, your hair is telling you that you need protein. Now another way of knowing is that when you are styling your hair in the morning when your hair is dry, if you see broken pieces, just broken pieces all over the place, then you will know that probably you need a protein treatment. So I'm not going to wait until I'm seeing broken pieces all over the floor to say I need a protein treatment. It's now been four months since I did one and I think I need to do a protein treatment now. So if you guys are aware of this trick, comment down below and let me know. So I'm going to be using this uh, shampoo and conditioner. It says daily two and one plus by Swabs Professionals and it's pH balance. And I really, really love this shampoo, especially on my daughter's hair. It gives her a lot of slip. And I'm going to be using this, my Herbal Essence Deep Moisture Hello Hydration Conditioner. This is the one I'm going to be using. This is my washout conditioner on my hair for about two minutes. And then what I do is just wash that off. So if I was in the shower, it would probably be longer because I would just have it there in my hair. When I'm about to rinse off my soap, I would uh, be washing out the rinse out conditioner. So I'm just gonna leave that on my hair. And just to help me soften up my new growth, I'm seven weeks post in this video. For today's example, I'm going to use the Afoji Protein Treatment Reconstructurizer. Some ingredients found in this carotene green tea restructurizer are hydrolyzed vegetable protein, hydrolyzed silk protein, hydrolyzed carotin. All these proteins combined as enough for my hair. Let me know in the comments if you have ever used this treatment as a protein treatment and how you like it. For those of you who'd like to know, this is a medium strength protein for my low porosity hair. Just gonna shake that up. I don't know if I need to shake it up and I'm just going to spritz it onto my hair. And I'm going to be air drying my hair for about when it's eight, about 80%, not fully dry. And I'm going to moisturize and seal my hair. And I'm going to get back to you guys. So now that I have that in my hair, 
don't know if you guys can see that that's the amount of hair I lost okay guys so my hair is about 80% dry I don't know if you guys can see and I'm going to be moisturizing and sealing I'm going to be using this I'm going to be using my serum if you guys are familiar with my channel you have seen how I moisturize and seal my hair I'm still outside this is what my hair looks like so I'll be right back so this is the finished look I hope you guys like it I'm still using my cell phone to do this look to finish up the video comment down below and let me know what you think 